In this LibreTime tutorial for program managers and admins, we'll highlight how to create smart blocks that will select tracks to fill the remaining time in a show to prevent dead air without scheduling tracks that will be cut off by the end of a show. To do this, we will first focus on how to schedule shows and station promos and PSAs at the end of every auto-loading playlist using the outro playlist feature. This tutorial builds upon previous tutorials highlighting how smart blocks can be used without a loading playlist and podcast to create automatically scheduled shows. So you might find it helpful to view that one first. We will assume that you already have auto loading playlists set up for various shows in your schedule and we will now focus on creating playlists containing smart blocks that will fill the remaining time in your show. This means, for instance, if you schedule a show that with tracks that have a length of 54 minutes, the system will automatically schedule only six minutes of tracks. In previous versions of LibreTime and Airtime, this wasn't possible. So we're going to assume that you have uploaded a number of tracks that have the genre set to station promo for the purposes of this tutorial. And now we will create a smart block that will fill the remaining time of any show that is added to with station promos. So a quick smart block, then click the blue new button, and then the name of the smart block we'll call it fill show with promos. And now we'll select genre. And we'll select is, and then we'll type in promo. And then under limit, we will select time remaining in show. This will now automatically select the number of tracks that will schedule matching tracks until either there aren't any new tracks to add or adding another track would cause the track to be cut off. This will prevent situations where you have an announcement that is cut off by a new show beginning. If you quick preview, it should show up to an hour's worth of tracks that match the criteria. Now let's say we also have a type of track called Publish Service Announcements with the genre set to PSA that we want to be considered for this mix of tracks. Since this is also using genre, we will click the new modifier, type clicks is, and then type PSA. You can click you can choose choose preview to see if any additional tracks meet your criteria below. As you can see, there's now another track that was set to PSA. This will now fill the end of the shows with promos and PSAs, and you can start to sound like a real radio station. But there are still issues we need to resolve. One is that your promos and PSAs are selected randomly by the software and they might not match the time remaining exactly. For instance, if you only have 25 second long promos and you have 15 seconds of time remaining, it won't schedule any tracks because they would all be cut off. There are two ways around this. You can add a large number of short variable length tracks in a genre called bumper promos, and this will greatly increase the chances that the algorithm will be able to fill as close to the time as possible, but you also may end up with the same short files playing frequently at the end of every show. Another option, which we'll explore here, is to have a, another separate smart block for sound bridges. They will be ambient type of sounds that won't jar the listener when they are cut off. This could be any sort of ambient music sound effect or even nature sounds. The important thing from a listener's perspective is there probably isn't any spoken word parts or singing that would, could be cut off. Make sure that you save the smart block and we'll create a new smart block called sound bridges. And we'll select genre is sound bridge. And then we'll set limit to time remaining in show. And now we're going to click advanced options. And we're going to check box, the box next to allow last track to exceed time limit. You can preview, and it should show you tracks in your database that have the genre set to SoundBridge. 
Currently we have zero tracks set to sound bridge. If you want to be careful to avoid dead air and have a limited number of tracks, you can click allow repeated tracks as well. This might end up in the same track being played a few times, but it will help prevent a scenario where you have dead air. So now we have these two types of smart blocks. We will still need to have them automatically scheduled, and we have a reliable way of avoiding dead air in an externally sourced show of variable length. This could be done two ways. One, they could individually be added to the end of a show's auto-loading playlist. Or we can create a new playlist and assign it to the outro playlist so that it is automatically scheduled at the end of every show with an auto-loading playlist. To do this, let's create a new playlist. Let's save this. And we'll create a new playlist. Click on new. Type in the name outro, outro playlist. Now click on smart blocks. And first drag the promo smart block, the fill show with promo smart block over. And then below it we'll add the sound bridge. Now save the smart block. The order here is important because they are both competing to fill the show and the second one will always fill the entire show whereas the first one might have some gaps if the tracks don't line up exactly. Now you have to be an admin currently to access this section but we'll save this and we'll click settings and then under general then under outro playlist we will select our newly created outro playlist and then we'll go down and we'll click save and now every auto loading playlist show will have the track scheduled to fill any potential dead air this process can be modified and there are future changes planned allowing each auto loading playlist show to have a specific intro and outro playlist selected for it, as well as the possibility of adding intro and outro playlists to every show, even those with manually scheduled tracks. This hasn't been done yet, so keep an eye on the Libre Time release notes for upcoming details. As always, feel free to ask us questions at discourse.libretime.org below or, uh, or on our website. Thanks for learning about Libre Time. In our next tutorial, we will focus on how to create smart blocks to schedule a random mix of musical tracks for your station and explore some more advanced details of smart blocks. And now I'm just going to demo this by adding a number of promo tracks. And so you can just follow along. This will just let us see how it could work. I'm going to change this to sound bridge. Like this. this track here type sound bridge save it now you'll notice we have two tracks that are this spoof ad so we'll delete one of them and we'll actually upload some more promos the genre to promo. Save it.
set the genre of this one to PSA save it and we're just gonna create a new show running right now and then show how this demo show for the demo show we will add a democracy now now you can see it's over here on the top so we'll do democracy now daily show ah oh, there's only eight seconds running so we'll just do this after a playlist and it plays only one of those so now let's try another new show I'll make it on at 17 actually to 18 6 o'clock sample music add this show and we'll schedule tracks and for this we will actually just do fill show with promos and then we'll do a sound bridge now let's remove everything and I'll show you what would happen if we just did a sound bridge See, it just plays the same music over and over again there's top of the hour station ID and we'll fill the show promos oh, but it wasn't enough so we did this and then it displayed those ambient sounds so as you can see that works but you will have to put a number of tracks that match whatever smart blocks you have set up to make it fully work and on the next one like I said we will be showing how to do an entire show using music of a specific genre so to help you save this all right Thanks for tuning in, and as always, ask any questions you got at our forum. Thanks.